Then, on the 5th of April of 2003, woke up that morning and our mission was to provide security for another convoy from the southern part of Iraq up to an area called Karbala, which is southwest of Baghdad. It's north of where we were. And we had to get to Karbala, we had to get them there safely. No big deal, this is what we've been doing for almost a month. So we start driving, we get to Karbala, they go off and do what they had to go do, and okay, cool, our mission was to turn around, our plan for the day, get up there, drop them off, and come back. As we're getting ready to turn around and come back, all of a sudden we get these new orders that our plan was going to change, and that we had to go meet up with another unit just north of the city of Karbala and go secure this area. Well, again, you adapt and you overcome. That's what it's about. Nothing is going to ever happen the way you want it to happen. And so here we are. We look at the map. We say, this is how we're going to meet up with them. And my sergeant says, all right, guys, jump in the truck. Martinez, your turn to drive. 19 years old. I jump in the driver's seat. There's a guy sitting in the passenger seat. There's a guy sitting behind him. And then in those Humvees, they have that big hole, which is where the weapon's mounted. It's called a gunner. That's where the gunner was. 19 years old. I jump in the driver's seat. I have one hand on the steering wheel. The Kevlar that you wear on your head to protect your head from any kind of impact. I had it somewhat kicked up on, on my head. I had the window halfway down. I mean, I was 19, I thought I was cool. If you looked at me, you, you would have thought that I thought I was driving a Ferrari down Sunset Boulevard. That's how cool I thought I was. And I'm driving, and I'm the third vehicle in the convoy, and all of a sudden, because humor is such a big part of any type of situation, humor helps, and when you're deployed, when you're in the military, humor is a very big factor, and it helps you kind of comfort you while you're away from home, or while you're away from freedom. And we started joking about something, and I remember looking at my passenger laughing as I'm driving. The first truck turned onto the paved road. The second truck turned onto the paved road. I turned onto the paved road. And again, we're joking, and I look at my sergeant and laugh, and I'm driving, and he says something else, and I look at him again and still driving. Then I turn to look at the road, and all of a sudden, boom, 